And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our next meme tier Monday donation deck. We're going to have Spooky Kadragrin is going to be our next one. Um, I was just uh, we We're just talking about how I've always pronounced this card Kadragin and we're looking at it and realize that there's a second R after this G here. So it's actually Grin at the end. So Kadragrin um, is actually how we pronounce this one. <laughs> hey, thanks. Thanks Mephistopheles. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for the thanks for the cheers yeah it says mic's off because uh we just tried this intro a little bit ago and i realized i had my mic muted so <laughs> this is take two all right but anyway uh so the, the point of our deck is is based around this nine mana nine six furious dragon that whenever it's summoned that's the important thing is that it's a summon ability grant other dragon allies everywhere plus two plus two so it's a summon ability and so our combo is having that cadra grin with spectral matron 8 mana, 6-6. Six, six. <clears throat> Whenever you play it, you pick an ally in hand, which will hopefully be Kadragrin. You summon an exact copy of it, and it's ephemeral. So we get to just put an ephemeral Kadragrin into play, and it can block or attack whatever whatever side that we're on. And it's ephemeral, it'll die. But then you know, the next turn, we can cast our regular Kadragrin that will have the plus 2, plus 2. And you know, it'll, you know know then the regular one will give everything, all of our other dragons, an additional plus 2, plus 2 again. So we're gonna have, um, yeah. So we're gonna have that, and just the ability to grow our dragons everywhere. And then once our dragons are really big, we'll have atrocity that can kill them. Or of course, just having huge dragons is gonna be good too. As far as uh, early on in the game, we have our dragon guard lieutenant, egghead researcher, our early stuff. Of course, we're a Demacia deck, so we got some Grand Plaza Grizzled Ranger action in here. Um, Stalking Shadows can help us find either part of our 8 or 9 mana combo up there. We got some Radiant Guardians to stay alive, and then of course we're going to yell with some uh, Screeching Dragons. Alright, so that's our deck. Should be pretty cool, should be pretty fun to play. Hopefully we get some cool dragon stuff in here. We got Spooky Kadragrin. Uh, playing on over in normal, because it's meme tier day. So let's have some fun. Hey Mindsplitter, yeah, thanks for joining. Yeah, you got, uh, we are playing your deck. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so we have uh, we're playing against a super aggressive deck, you know, real heavy burn aggro. So unfortunately, we can't keep Kadragrin in our opener. Um, we'll hopefully find it later. I'm gonna mulligan the Grizzled Rangers also, that are kind of expensive, as you can see. Like a mulligan the four drops. We got more fours and fives. We gotta look for our twos and threes against the burn aggro. Wow, trips. Another day guarding the walls. Three of a kind, Screeching Dragon. Here they come. I doubt my opponent can beat three of a kind. I don't know what they have in their hand. Maybe they got like two pair. Maybe a straight. But we got we got a full house. Yeah. We got this. It's Draven time. Yeah, full house GG's. It's Shivana time. Let's boogie. So our hand is really slow, but they've also had a very slow hand, especially for this kind of deck. So hopefully we can take advantage of that, of them having a super slow hand. They're just passing. I'm just gonna pass also. Have them waste five mana. The sun's out, the crowd's ready. Let's wreck it! Do I play another dragon or try to have something die and then play Radiant Guardian? Oh, it is a great day for a reckoning. Yeah, yeah, I'm up. All right, final answer play Grizzled Ranger. Yeah, see, they would have done all this after <clears throat> if I would challenge, and they would have just like played all this stuff afterwards. Then this turn, they would have been able to do more things. Yeah, we got three sharp sight. 
we cool. Okay, uh, you can block over there. You block here, you block here. All the way around. So I assume they're gonna use the spinning axe and kill my Shivana. But that's just how life is. This is just a very, very healthy attack. I got a block. Wait, what did they discard? Oro Cannon? Huh. They discard Poro Cannon? Not the other Spinning Axe? Cool. I always like paying two mana to discard a card. Yeah, I think we found yeah, I think we found all the sharp sites. <laughs> Yep, they're now they're now tossed deep into the deck. Let's just shuffle. I'm sorry, Radiant Guardian. This is a Jinxes get excited, so that would get rid of a Jinx. We'll have two Jinxes gone. So what kind of champions, what kind of champion split do you think they're playing <clears throat> here? So I think it makes sense to play, you know, three Jinx, and it makes sense to play three Draven. Uh, I guess I gotta kill this thing. Okay, y'all think three, three Jinx, two Draven, one Teemo? Yeah, I don't really understand why playing a Teemo in here. It just doesn't... Like, Draven is too good. <laughs> you know, I, I can't... I don't really see why playing a Jinx over a Draven. But... Virtue guides me. Hmm. Dragon blood, Demacian heart. Demacian heart. I am watching you, dragon. Banish the unworthy! I mean, the Shivana's not really dying in combat. Like, I need to play a Screeching Dragon and start getting these elusives down. Yeah, I can't afford, like, any burn spells. Right, because any burn spell, they just, like, block. And then use a burn spell. That is a good... <clears throat> That's a good outcome for me. There's no burn spell. Because, you know, any burn spell, they you know, block with the 1-1, one, one, burn it. But I don't heal my Nexus. Obviously, the Decimate would kill me. Basically, anything like that. What's the worst that could happen? What science without a little risk? Can't have another get excited, right? So get excited or vision kill me. <laughs> yeah, our our stalking shadows missed. Yeah, they just have more get excited and get excited and vision both. 
Oh, that must be nice. Like I said, we couldn't handle burn spells. And uh, they didn't have any burn spells, but they had Augmented Experimenter that drew into multiple burn spells. Alright, so we're playing Targon Deep? Oh. So sea, sea Monsters and Dragons. That's always a cool thing. Sea Monsters and Dragons. So maybe I should keep Sharp Sight. I think that's the like the only card. You know, it's Sharp Sight, Stalking Shadows would be the two to maybe keep, but Stalking Shadows let us down last time. I basically I'm mulligating because I want to find Grand Plaza. And I want like Egghead Researcher, Dragon Guard Lieutenant, Grand Plaza. Alright, so we have our eight, nine mana combo. It's gonna be a couple of turns till we play that. Just because, you know, I want to be fair. I don't want to play it next turn. I don't want to play our combo next turn. I'll, I'll wait a little bit for my opponent. I'm going to be fair. So jealous. They have a landmark. So jelly. Um, okay, Researcher or Ranger? For how, you know, like, next turn is turn four with us attacking, so it actually kind of makes sense to just take this Ranger. We'll do that. I don't know. Uh... The one three would get us. I'd be able to play double one three next turn and get us a whole bunch of, um, whole bunch of dragons. Yeah, yeah, I'm up. Give me the stuff. Stuff make happy. Pretty loud. Alright, let's mess some folks up. Alright, I'm gonna get a couple of cards out of my hand. That I don't want to get Targon's peaked. So I say I want Cadra Grin and Spectral Matron. I want those things getting peaked. No, sharp sight. Ugh. I'm thinking about playing zero mana sharp sight right now and just hitting him for five and, you know, then trying to challenge him for more again. Sure. Might as well. Again, with this Targon Speak, I do want to get these cheap cards out of my hand. So they don't do stuff like this. This will allow me to play Screeching Dragon. Okay. So their Targon Speak hit their Jettison, right? Oh no, I guess not. Oh, I thought I thought that was zero mana Jettison. I'm wrong. They got zero mana Devour Depths. Oh right, because it was five mana Devour Depths because of the lure of the Depths. Right, right. Alright, they had zero mana slaughter docks. Big dragons. We don't have to worry about playing into um We don't have to worry about playing into Ruination, right? They're not a Shadow Isles deck. They've already gotten their zero mana card this turn with the Slaughter Docks. They'll, <clears throat> they'll get two sea monsters. Oh, 
Let's hear what Mana Catcher can. Sweet. Sea Monsters v. Dragons. Still, still 12 coming in. And there we go. That was pretty sweet. Face a dragon and win. Spooky Cadrigan. Hmm. Twisted Karma, eh? That's probably going to be drawing a bunch of cards, playing a bunch of spells. Let's get rid of our concerted strikes, and uh, I guess I'll keep a single combat. Well, but I mean, we'll find another dragon. We can get rid of that too. We'll just keep a single combat. Hmm. Wish I would have more a single combat. Why can't I ever find Egghead Researcher in Grand Plaza? The only two cards I want in my opener. Alright, so I don't have a dragon in hand. This will not have Challenger. Right now. I will instead save spell mana. Alright, so they're given we swim within the River Shaper. Barrier. Key Guardian River Shaper is not bad. Not bad at all. A gift from the river folk. Waters are still. End up drawing a whole bunch of cards. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. Not gold card. Eyes open. And of course I need one of these to die on this turn to turn on Radiant Guardian. Did I forget to put Grand Plaza in this deck or something? No, it's there. There's three of them. At least according to the, the deck list. Yeah, we haven't we haven't drawn a plaza yet in the three games. <clears throat> Even with Mulliganing a bunch, Mulligan a ton. Give it life. And they have kept like three cards in the three games. Run them through. Hardly fair. Done. What form will the waters take? I lost. Justice will be served. Whoa, what is that? All right, so they got ten cards in hand. Maybe they pass to me and just start burning cards because they don't want to play anything. 
Shadow Shift? They're just playing Shadow Shift? Sure, I guess. Obviously, I could single combat and keep that out, out, out of their hand, but... I don't know, that's still 10 cards in hand. It's fine with me. Okay, that, not so fine. Alright, Spectral Matron with Grand Plaza. We get to put the Ephemeral. Um, oh, right, they were just gonna stun that. Eh, whatever. It's still Ephemeral. We'll come back next turn. Alright, let's challenge this thing. And attack there and there. So that was a different Concussive Palm, so we still know. So we they drew Concussive Palm for turn. They didn't play the one we know about. That's something that. You, you always got to be paying attention to whenever you're playing, uh, you know, I guess like any deck. So just whenever you're playing, um, just pay attention. Like if you put something in your hand or if they know about any card, try to play the card that they know about instead of um, a new card that they don't know about. If you can. For silver I talk, for gold I feast it. Okay, so that's nine. Man, they have that thing again, huh? So they should know that I have Grizzled Ranger in hand for how I played Spectral Matron with Grizzled Ranger. But, you know, I don't I don't really want the uh, Grizzled Ranger to get Tail of the Dragon. So I'm going to play this first, see what they do. Unquenchable fire will bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. Man, that's really annoying. Well, I guess okay. Never mind. So they don't have the mana for concussive bomb yeah, right now. Yeah. Okay, not as annoying. Plaza pretty good. Um, this is definitely not over though, right? Like just they if they have another karma, karma can do some pretty silly stuff. Looks like they do not have another karma, and so it is over. All right, we are two and one. They couldn't take the heat. 
Spectral Matron Grand Plaza looked pretty cool there. Alright, going back to regular deep. Too slow. All those cards were too slow. So whenever you whenever they toss, what you want to see is other toss cards, because you don't want them to have more toss cards. So I like that they're tossing like the one drop, three drop, stuff like that. Ask me about dragon. I just may have an answer. The yeah, I don't. I don't think Eternal and Jettison is what you're supposed to do, but that's all right. Lieutenant, have you brought a specimen from the field? We let you keep the egg. Be content with that. So you go on the Dragon Guard, Lieutenant. I don't know, it just kind of fits here. You can sharp sight, you can do all sorts of stuff. They have a good hand. Give them that. Definitely a very good deep hand, having, you know, all these toss cards. Plaza, Shivana. No, no Plaza, no Shivana for us. If we can get some large enough things, Concerned Strike maybe can help take down a Nautilus, but that's not going to be easy. I don't really want to play Protege here, but I also don't want to pass and let them end the turn. Thank you, Evan and Gamma, for uh, boosting the stream. Thank you so much. Alright, got our first damage in. Oh right, I should have I should have done that first. I could have had them still at fifteen. I I don't know what I was thinking. I wasn't thinking about the two healing. So they're six away from deep now. I do like the atrocity gone. That was going to be a card that was going to be difficult for me to deal with that atrocity. So I like that gone. Fresh is worth at least twice as much. At least twice as much. The age of dragons is begun. Oh dear. Get the trash! Eat the trash! <laughs> They've had a good, a really good toss hand. Fell into him! know how I'm dealing with Nautilus. I guess I can't. Like, Concerted Strike isn't, you know, like, our stuff's not big enough. I wonder if I'm supposed to play, like, Ephemeral Screeching Dragon and first they play Nautilus, then I challenge and just get I mean, it only gets three damage in on it. There we go. Mind Splitter. I can do something. Potentially, that could potentially do something. Virtue guides me. That's what I'd be worried about, though. Them playing more blockers. Me not getting as much damage in. OK, 
Okay, we've had some good draws. How many atrocities do you think they're playing? Probably just like one, right? I'm thinking about going Matron instead of Mind Splitter. They're all fearsome. Stay back. Jaw Hunters is pretty sweet. I'll stun those two, I guess. Oh, goodness, twins. We did see them toss one atrocity, so yeah, I'm really hoping they don't have another atrocity. That ship looks familiar. That, unfortunately, is really, really bad for me. Both Jaw Hunters just created Tear of the Tides. Go and harvest it. Very, very bad for me. No, do that. Please do that. Sure, do that too. Oh, that thing doesn't get the... Yeah, it doesn't get the Fearsome bonus. Hopefully this works. Awesome. I guess I targeted those, those wrong. I should have had the... Yeah, I did target those wrong. I could have had this uh, infinite mind splitter grow to a 9-9. Alright, Screeching Dragon or Radiant Guardian. I guess it's just the Guardian. Justice will be served. But if I go Dragon, the next turn I could go Dragon Dragon. Oh, that had a backup atrocity. I needed Kadrigan, right, to... Um, yeah, I need Kadrigan to, uh, you know, make my make my uh, dragons larger, but, you know, no Kadrigan for me and a bunch of those Tear of the Tides for them. That made combat it's too difficult for me. So Misfortune Gangplank. So with PNZ, they should have a ton of burn spells. I'm glad for your help. There's much to learn in the field. You seem like you've got a lot to learn. Can you improve? 
And of course, we'll try to trade our two drops. Get that ballistic bot out of here. Stop it making these ignitions. A game. Go on then. That's a pretty early pool shark. I hope they hit gangplank. I hope that card's gangplank right there. Whoa, Grand Plaza. That card's in our deck. What is this? Does make my next turn pretty awkward. That's the card. Uh, they can play it. Oh, that's too bad. <clears throat> that was the card the pool shark hit. That was something they could play. Another day guarding the walls. Alright, I'm gonna double spell with Dragon Guard Lieutenant and Laurent Protege instead of just single spelling with uh, Shivana. I sure like their pool sharks. So if I pass, they burn that, that card. They burn four mana and they burn the card they got from pool shark, the fleeting card. Or I attack and I take out, you know, like two pool sharks, basically. I take out like the two. The, I guess I would take out the two, one, and a pool shark. Hey, what's up, Inevitable Curse? Hey, GG's. So I'm doing the challenge. Okay, so that card was Jagged Butcher. Okay, cool. Because it only dealt one damage, so got rid of two things and only dealt one damage to my two units. Give us some room. This will allow me to play Radiant Guardian. I fight for the fallen. You'll fight or you'll swim. Pack them good. Yeah, that was a yeah, that was a fun deck. That was a fake karma deck. GG's there. So they wanted one powder keg, but not the second powder keg. They could have got two, but they only wanted one. That kind of makes me feel like they have like a parlay. Okay, I was thinking like they're gonna like parlay my protege. Okay, Daybreak and Nightfall are both like play bonuses, not summon. So Matron and Eclipse Dragon don't really work together. I do kind of want to play single combat and then play Eclipse Dragon afterwards, but I guess I guess it's just too important to keep single combat available. To do that, so I'm gonna I'm gonna just play Screeching Dragon. I mean, I could play Eclipse Dragon and make something else cheaper. Something the matter. The matter. <laughs> this music makes you feel like it's the opening of The Hobbit. It is very um, Lord of the Rings type music. We have just left the Shire on our way to Rivendell. You wanted wrath. Not really. Oh, I'm not going to have room next turn for Spectral Matron. We need to have something die. Be nothing left when I'm done. They play slow. Your 
Okay, well, that's on the die. Never forgive. Summon two more powder kegs. This is a pretty good, pretty good meme battle here. Break their legs. Off with you. So we get the Fury with the Screeching Dragon, so it turns into 6 power, so it trades with the Gangplank. And I don't quite level up the Shivana though, 5 and 6, so it's at 11 out of 12. Close. Ooh, let's look for Kadragrin. Oh, no Kadragrin. Um, I, so I could go Grizzled, I guess we go Grizzled Ranger. I mean, they are burnt. Yeah, we'll just go Rifle Ranger. Definitely wanted Catra Grin. Alright, I'm down to 10. So many Grizzled Rangers. So many Grizzled Rangers. Whoa. We're gonna go boom. Shivana, no. Best run while you can. No, Shivana, no. All right, so still obviously feeling great about this game. We're at 14. Um, we got a whole bunch of Grizzled Rangers. Did not get to do cool Kadragrin stuff. That would have been awesome with Spectral Matron and Kadragrin. Man, just never, never Kadragrin. Uh, I was hoping for like something like really big and, and even cooler. Uh oh. Alright, that's actually a little scary. Because, mm. like, you know, we could get, like, something really big and, like, matron in something really big. That would have been cool. I don't change fate, but I can see it. So I can do that, or I can block here. I'm just gonna do that. I mean, yeah, my Radiant Guardian dies, but like, how do we... Both their champions are dead. They just have a 2-2, and I have millions of cards. Wait, so I could Spectral Matron a Spectral Matron? That sounds confusing. I'm just gonna Spectral Matron and other Grizzled Rangers so we get more things. Think if we would have had Kadragrin. Also, with all these Spectral Matrons and everything. If just, you know, if this was Kadragrin instead of Grizzled Ranger, this would have been crazy how big these dragons would be. 
It would be crazy. How big they'd be. They got me. Uh, let's see. I guess I can't. I just want to have some more fun with Spectral Matron, Grizzled Ranger, but then I can't Atrocity. Do I really need to Atrocity here? Probably not. Eh, whatever. I'm going to do it. All right, more dragons. My with pride. No, I was going to play more dragons. Victory All right, so Spooky, Cadragrin, 3 and 2. Cool. Cool little deck here. Um, you know, definitely a fun one. I have to say that I, just overall, I was very impressed with Spectral Matron. Just even, you know, with Kadrigan, obviously awesome. But, you know, just with Grizzled Rangers, we were seeing like some of those other games and just with other cards. I was very impressed with this card, especially with the Grand Plaza, whenever you're putting in the ephemeral copy and then you have the Grand Plaza that gets to challenge. That was honestly pretty strong. And then, of course, we had Radiant Guardian, really hard carry that last game. Thank you, Radiant Guardian. And, and you know, just did its thing in a lot of other games as well. Um, so, you know, just a, a whole bunch of good cards in here. Um, fun one to play. Fun one to play with a with a pretty cool ending there with the uh, Spectral Matron Cadre Grin. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hopefully y'all enjoyed this deck. Hit that like button and of course, leave those comments. Let me know what you think about it. Um, just what do you wanna see next week on, on Meme Tier Monday? Uh, how do you enjoy this one? Just all the decks. Um, yeah, I love seeing those comments. So, you know, give me that feedback. All right, but that's it here for Spooky Kadrigrin. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.